Hi there, Magic Remy here. I'm going to talk about today are the different pads that I used in all my videos and then compare them to each other. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you will give it a thumbs up, thumbs up about my comparison about my three pads. And I hope you hit that subscribe button down below. And also hit that little bell icon to the right of the subscribe button. So you'll be notif notified on all my upcoming videos. So let's jump into it. Oh yeah, and also feel free to write anything you like in the comment box down below. So just share with, just share with me your feedback and what you think about the three different paths that I use in my videos and it'll help me a lot oh you guys will pretty much be supporting my channel thank you thumbs up <sighs> anyway let's jump into the different pads this red pad here it was started at all it started my channel I hardly use the use this pad now because I have no need for it anymore it doesn't suit my purpose that much anymore the reason that that the that the back itself the rubber not ripping as much anymore it now just slides around you can see and easily spin it around as well and it doesn't suit a purpose anymore. Where I got this pad was it came from the bicycle color collection. You get nine decks and in this pad. I think this pad runs about like thirty to forty dollars online. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, feel free to shoot a comment down below to correct me. It would be awesome. Thank you guys. Anyways, um I just feel no need for this. I can still do close up magic with it, but I can't pick up the cards at a professional level as nicely. So, and I can't do long, luxurious spreads as well. So, I don't use it that much <clears throat> now that I'm, j I'm moving up. <clears throat> And in a time for a new change. So again, this is just my smallest pad here, which I use on rare rare occasions now. And what started my channel. So I got rid of that pad and decided to upgrade to this medium side pad. This pad here you cannot find anywhere. You can't find it online. You can do all the Google search you want. You will never find this pad. Because this pad here, I customized it. And you can see that this is the first customized and the first make of this pad. You're probably wondering. What is the pad made out of? The, what I used was a piece of wood. A piece of thin wood. Now my dad gave me. And I used here black leather here for the gripping. And then underneath the black leather is hot glue. What, to hold the leather in place. I used Gorilla Tape along the border lines here to help grip it as well. And there's also staples that holds down the leather and for the pad itself I use two layers of cotton like the kind that they use for poker tables and for the top here it's a it's a soft felt as well so I can do much better spread on this one and it's so much easier to pick up because of the double layer of cotton this 
Then here, if we want to find one of these, a, a one similar to like this one, it will cost you like about 50 to almost like 90 bucks. It's ridiculous. I made this in just $13. And I picked up all the materials at my local fabric store. So, enough with my medium sized pad. I want to jump into. Get rid of that pad. The mega size pad. This pad here is my all time favorite. Again, this is custom made. This here is a 30 inch length by 20 inches. And again, it's made out of lovely wood. You can hear that. And it has gorilla tape along the borderline. And it's the felt itself is stapled, and so is the leather as well. But this pad doesn't does not have hot glue underneath the leather. It wasn't necessary when I made this one. And again, for the for the pad itself, double cotton layer, and the soft cotton. I'm gonna bring back the previous pad here, and it's and I want to say that. I made this medium sized pad from the leftover scraps to make my bigger pad, which is pretty cool. And the grand total for both of them was only like about $26. So cheap. It was awesome making these pads. And with this pad here, I can do such long, luxurious spreads. I can, I can do so much. Here, this is my stationary pad. The medium sized pad, the previous one, is my performance pad. That's what I'll take anywhere I go to perform. This is my professional level pad here. But I'll never will bring my bigger pad anywhere I'll go. I didn't even fit like about three decks here. You can see that. And which is so, which is so nice. I'm very grateful with my pads, how it turned out. I'm very lucky to have these, have these pads. And I do hope, I do hope that, that you like, you'll like these pads as well and what you think about them. I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching Magic Remy out. Thank you.